Hey guys, and welcome to this video on inductive tachometers and a few tips and tricks to ensure that not only do you get the strongest signal out of them, it's a tip so that when you don't have the ability to clip onto the HT lead, there is other ways around it. You might find that when you put this inductive tachometer anywhere around the engine, around the lead, the boot, you're just not picking up a signal. And I'll demonstrate that in a minute. And then I'll show you my little tip that I like to use on those occasions where I don't get a very good signal so that I can get a reliable RPM from the machine. So this is my still EDT9 tack. I've got a couple of them. This one doesn't have a very strong inductive signal. It doesn't pick up very well from the HT lead or the surrounding areas. And ideally, the alternative is to then clip it on. You have the little uh, wire that you can clip onto the spark plug lead, but the problem is I can't get to it from here. I can't clip it onto here, and the rest of it's covered in cowling. I can't take the cowling off because that's where the recoil is, so you're kind of a bit stuck. Let me show you what I mean in terms of just the fact that it won't give me a reading. instant like this when you're trying to get a certain reading you want to read the tack well the only way I have found to get a reliable reading is pop the boot off get yourself your inline spark tester it doesn't have to be this one this just so happens to be Opima plug that on connect yourself in place here start the machine up and then use this wire to get your reading and you will see you will get about a foot of uh, inductive reading from that cable and if you haven't got an inductive tachometer you can just clip your lead to that wire there and you'll get a perfect reading let me just tilt that forward so you can see and i'll hold the tack somewhere over here and you'll see that it still gives me a fantastic reading that's about my limit there show you now without the inline spark tester there is that this HT lead has lots of insulation around it and that's what's restricting me from getting a good reading whereas this wire it doesn't the wire actually runs very close to the housing it runs along here down here and then about at this point it will go down to that coil so it's not as if it's miles away it's just very insulated but though again if it is a little way away that can make it tricky too this actually has rubber insulation. It also has a mesh wire insulation as well. So as I said, it can make it tricky. Having just a plain wire, you can have this about, well, about eight inches away for this one and over a foot away for my other tachometer that has a better uh, inductive pickup. But there we go. Hope it helps.